What is going on everyone? And today, I know it's been a while once again, but school has been bringing me down with exams and all that stuff. But now I am back with more amusement park industry stuff. And since all the holiday seasons are over, I decided that I'm going to go back to my other hobby, roller coasters. So, why don't we begin a little bit with a kickoff to discuss what my possible potential park plans are for the year, this year, 2017. Why don't we begin? So first up, we have Six Flags Over Texas, and Six Flags Over Texas is a park that I've been meaning to visit for quite some time now, and I've heard that it is a great park. It has some great roller coasters that are clearly could be told by um, New Texas Giant, the first RMC ever. Now, it may not be the best RMC anymore, but it's definitely one of the, it's still an RMC. It's definitely still to be loved. Who wouldn't love it? Then there's Titan, which I've already experienced. It's Clone Goliath at Six Flies Magic Mountain, but it would still always be a good time. And the 400-foot Sky Screamer. Now, this park isn't going to be like my favorite park, I bet, but I still want to check it off my bucket list and call it a park that I've visited. And, since I would be in the Texas area, here's another park that I will be visiting. Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Now, although they are not too close to each other, they are still in the same state zone. So, it would be awesome to visit this park as well as a potential park for 2017. They have some great rides here. Iron Rattler is a great RMC. I've even heard that it is a great RMC, and it's some of people's favorites. Goliath, the Batman clone. The Batman the Ride, I already experienced the Joker, a great adventure, multiple times. But, you know, it could always work again to go on the original one, the first of its kind. And not only that, but who can forget about Six Flags Fiesta Texas's scenery? They have the quarry wall, they have all the great fountains and the trees, just surrounding the um foundation it's a great park and this is why i'm excited to potentially visit it up here in 2017 and of course my closest major amusement park six flies great adventure i am very excited once again to go back to my to one of my favorite parks out there of course i am very excited to once again go on my favorite wooden roller coaster currently el toro my one of my favorite bnm hyper is nitro and who can forget about king the car come on six flies great adventure has been a park that i've been going to for every year multiple times since at least 2013 and i've been loving it ever since it's really a park to me that just never gets old i know people who have visited it multiple times as well know that it's a park that just never gets old because all the roller coasters here are phenomenal there's really not one complaint about a roller coaster here that I really can point out exactly, except like Runaway Mine Train, because that's just a family ride that's rough as hell, but other ro old roller coasters here like King Ka, Nitro, El Toro, um, their drop tower, Zoom and Jar, like Lex Luthor, if you ask me, a lot better, but just because, not the theming, but the overall ride experience, a lot better, if you ask me, but Great Adventure opens up, I believe, once again on April 1st, so that's April Fool's Day, aka, okay? and I am very excited to hit it up, now, I don't know if I'll be hitting it up opening day, but during April, I'll definitely hit it up once again, and I am very excited to do so, especially with the fact that this year will be my first year experiencing their Justice League Battle for Metropolis, that's been coming to the Great Adventure, that's been coming to Six Flags Parks lately, sorry, I'm messing up with a lot of vocabulary it's been a while since i've been doing a talking straight through video but if you can just bear with it but anyways it's not gonna even matter now because i guess i have really nothing much to say anymore there really is no other park that i have a definite perspective on visiting this year yet but i bet as like the season of winter goes on i will be adding more and more to the list now i may not add that much more because i usually only visit about four brand new parks in a year but we'll see what happens i really want to visit holiday world in indiana this year so hopefully that will pop up on my list eventually and i will be making a brand new updated list with a little bit more definites nearby more like in April or May, just so I know, because most of the parks I start to visit in, like, June. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to, please let me know the parks that you're planning on visiting this year. Are they new parks you've been visiting, or is it going to be a park that you've been visiting for years and years past, like I've been with Great Adventure, and I always love it. So, just let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please, please subscribe, and I will catch you next time on Coaster Mania's channel.